Hey guys, and welcome back to the LA Galaxy. We are here in Southern California for our home leg of the California Classico. Uh, so before we jump in, uh, let's jump in and take a look at where we were since the last time we met. Uh, so the last time we uh, got together, we had a one nothing extra time loss in the U.S. Open Cup fourth round. Uh, and that kind of kicked off what I would say has been a bit of a downswing for the club. Uh, we were home against Philadelphia, a team we, we should have beaten, uh, and we dropped 3-2. We then played the Portland Timbers uh, in a tough one and drew 0-0, and then we went away to uh, Avaya Stadium to play the uh, San Jose Earthquakes in the first California Cla official California Classico from the league side uh, and got handily whooped 3-0. Uh, on that one. So I started taking a look at the club and the tactic. Uh, and what I've noticed is that I was getting burned at the back. My fullbacks, and more specifically Robbie Rogers on uh, on the left side, as well as uh, Omar and Leonardo, weren't really marking terribly well. We were leaving a lot of space and guys were getting, us, getting around us. Um, so what I did in the next match against Toronto FC is I started to take a more... Uh, active approach at changing up how we were marking and covering. Uh, I adjusted the tactic a little bit for tighter marking in general, and I asked the back four to do more tighter marking um, overall. Uh, and we ended up pulling out a 3-1 a three -one win at home. Um, so that was a nice uh, a nice win for us at home here. So we're going to come, we're back here at home uh, against San Jose. We need to do a, we need to do a little avenging here uh, of what I would define as a fairly mighty beating because uh, I don't really feel like enduring that again in a rivalry match. So uh, we'll go through and you'll see a little bit more about uh, what I'd say is my more active approach. So I'm sensing that the uh, the AI managers are learning faster about how you play and you need to do a little more adjusting uh, in this. So we're, we're going to get in on that uh, action here. Um, as you can see, league-wise, we're still solidly in position in the West. Um, uh, in that sense, we are still very much so solidly in the West. We have a very narrow lead and, and games in hand with the other guys may mean that uh, we, we are passable. Um, other thing that we've got is uh, as the winners of MLS Cup from last year, we have an automatic entry into the North American Champions League or the CONCACAF Champions League. So we've been drawn into our group. So I'll just give you a quick rundown of the groups here. Um, so Club America is the reigning, current reigning champion. Uh, they're a Mexican Liga MX side, very good side. Um, so Aribe United, Montego Bay, and Tigres. Um, I expect Tigres to win this group. They're the uh, they're they're a strong Mexican side. Um, we've got a side Aribe Unido is out of Panama, and then Montego Bay is uh, Jamaica. Um, Karen Taro, uh, Verdes FC, and Municipal. Um, Guatemalan, I'm not sure where these guys are, Belize, uh, and then Karen Taro is a Liga, Liga MX side. Um, group C is potentially one of the more interesting groups. Uh, so we have Club America, uh, Central from Trinidad and Tobago, and then Saprissa from Costa Rica, if you remember from my FM15 save in, in there. Saprissa is one of the traditional powerhouses of uh, Costa Rican football, so they're drawn into that group. Uh, then we have the first of the American side, so Real Salt Lake, uh, drawn into a group with Heron Deano and Santa Tecla. Uh, these guys are from El Salvador, um, and Heron Deano being the other Costa Rican side, another very, very good side. Um, group E has another uh, MLS side with the Seattle Sounders, as well as San Francisco from Panama and Conexión out of Trinidad, Williams Conexión out of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, some good teams in Trinidad. They're a very up-and-coming area in, in CONCACAF. Um, group F, so Santos Laguna, Santos being the uh, Liga MX side in that group, um, a very strong Liga MX side. Olympia is Honduras, and Isidro Metapan is uh, El Salvador. So uh, I fully expect Santos to get out of that group. Um, then the double MLS side we have here in Group G is DC United, Vancouver Whitecaps, and Communication out of Guatemala. And then our group, Group H, <clears throat> we have ourselves, the LA Galaxy, and then Matagua and Walter Ferretti. Um, this is a Honduran side. And then 
um, Walter Ferretti is a Nicaraguan side. Um, we should, oh shoot, sorry about that. Um, we should steamroll the group uh, down here in group uh, group H. There's really no reason we shouldn't beat these guys. Um, we are what should be a class above um, these guys. DC and Vancouver will be interesting. I would expect Santos to get out of their group, Seattle to get out of their group, um, Real Salt Lake to get out of their group, Club America uh, to get out of theirs, Karen Taro and T. Grace to get out of theirs. Um, so I would expect a pretty heavy MLS versus Liga MX um, quarterfinal setup, which uh, would parallel what, what's going on in real life today, being that the quarterfinals are all MLS sides versus Liga MX sides. Uh, on that, but that doesn't start for a little while yet. Uh, if we do a quick look at the schedule, um, the group stages, which we'll probably come back for after this start up. Um, so we go, we play uh, Montagua away in there. So that'll probably be the next game. But for now, it be California Classico time. So let's uh, let's get in on this action. We've been off for a while. We've been off for about two weeks to ke let others catch up with games. Um, so it's reaching that sort of weird point in the schedule. So it's been a fairly sizable break. Um, we have another sizable break after this one before we get into a decent string of games uh, as well. So the side should be reasonably rested up. Gerard's coming back off his injury, so his match fitness is coming back uh, a little bit. Uh, we've got a couple of guys out on loan. Uh, a couple of guys been barking for more time, but I'm not necessarily convinced. Um, the other big happening is you'll notice Giassi Zardis is no longer with the club. Um, so Montpellier came in and bid for him. He put in... Uh, a bunch of notes about how badly he wanted to go out there. Squad started to get disrupted when I rejected the first offer. Um, so I accepted a transfer offer for him to go since I didn't really want to have things fall apart. Um, given this is a beta save and a fairly short save, so I'm not really looking at um, super long-term planning with the club. Um, I tended, I punted a bunch of draft picks and some allocation dollars to pick up um, sh who uh, Harry Ship, who is a great up-and-coming young American out of... Um, He's he's with the Chicago Fire in real life. Um, dynamite, dynamite winger. Um, great youngster. I wanted to replace another youngster with a youngster. Um, I didn't have any international slots left, so I was sort of um, <clears throat> restricted to. Uh, I was sort of restricted to U.S. U.S. players uh, and domestic players uh, on this one. So he's made three appearances so far. He's got one goal in the three appearances. Um, and he has been playing very, very well. Um, I rotate him with uh, Bradford Jameson. Um, since Jameson is a uh, U.S. under 20, he does go away periodically. So I wanted somebody who um, should be coming in a U.S. international, um, but who is currently not uh, to rotate with, uh, with them. Um, so actually, I want to make a little adjustment. Um... Is he a better, he said, eh, no, I guess he is a better attack. So we'll leave that alone. Um, so we're going to do the same thing. Uh, so we've got um, typical lineup. So, and actually I want to do this. I've noticed that when these guys are on the cover and stopper, they get pulled apart a little weirdly. Um, so we have Robbie Rogers, Leonardo, Omar Gonzalez, and AJ De La Garza across the back, guarding Donovan Ricketts, Janino and Gerard in the midfield, and then legit Giovanni Dos Santos and Harry Ship in the attacking midfield with Robbie Keane leading the line. Um, you know, I really do want to get him involved in the game, but he's going to come off as a sub. Um, we are, you know what, we're going to leave it, we're going to go with that. Um, Mignato and Jameson are our attacking subs, uh, up front there. So, and Husidic is our defense, our midfielding sub. So here we go. Uh, it's California Classico time. <clears throat> so, uh, let's see. Um, I've also shifted to the 2D piece here just so we can see a little bit more of what's going on tactically. Um. It's been a little harder to see in the extended, although I do like the 3D match engine. <clears throat> um, it's been a little harder to see, and we're going to play on extended highlights, so you're going to get a little longer of the game time just so we can do a little more um, analysis as we go. Um, we do need to pick up a win here because Portland is closing the gap. Our rough stretch um, has closed the gap <clears throat> significantly. 
uh, on us. And like I said, I really, really desperately want to be staying in these top two positions because we want to knock out round by. I don't want to have to get around. I don't want to have to get involved in a knockout round in the playoff, which is going to give me a midweek game going into a weekend game of the conference semifinals and um, leave us kind of knackered up a little bit uh, at longer term. Um, yeah, Robbie Keane hasn't been scoring a lot for us, but he is doing a lot of holding up. We are getting better wing goals from the wings. Um, opposition instructions. Let's see here. Okay. Perez Garcia. Wando is always a problem. Um, he needs to be, he needs to be kept track of, um, a little surprising that he's in the midfield there. That's a little weird. Um, innocent Omega Hara is, I guess who they think their goal scoring threat is. Um, this is an odd formation for me. Wando is a pure striker. Perez Garcia is definitely uh, a playmaker. Um, Godoy, another one, uh, another decent uh, winger for them. But I'm a little surprised that Wondolowski is here. This is not a natural position at all, I would say, for him, um, to the best of my knowledge. Um, but we're going to go out and do our thing. Um, let's go. We're going to go try and bat some goals past him and see if we can't get a little bit of a run going here. So we are underway at StubHub Center. Uh, we're going to try and play a little wider. Uh, we've been trying to play a little wider. Ooh, decent from Harry in there. Janino rockets one over the over the crossbar. We'll stop at about the 20-minute mark and take a look at what's going on uh, just to see how things are playing. Oof, terrible pass from uh, Gerard out there. Terrible. Come on, guys. Let's nice interception from Omar gets it up to Harry Ship. Nice direct movement there, slowing things down a little bit, getting it back to the middle of the park. You know what? We need to pause for a second here. Player, Mr. Janino. Instructions: Shoot less. That man needs to shoot less often. Because frankly, shooting from way the hell out there isn't going to do us any good. And all it's doing is giving away goal kicks. Ooh, Keen gets in there. Oh, snatched it a chance and just didn't quite do it. Nice opportunity for us there, though. Gerard in with the corner. Ship picks it, collects it. Come on. Janino passes it. Ooh, gets it out wide, but doesn't quite get it out there. Okay, De La Garza covers up what could have been a break from... Uh, Wondolowski out there, so. Gerard with the free kick to Robbie Rogers. Doesn't quite get it through. Legette there. Okay, now we're humming a little bit. We're putting a ton of pressure on them. <clears throat> Looks like possession swung a little bit again, but still no shots for them, which is good. No more shooting for us, so. See what's going on here in a minute or two. Okay, let's. Okay, well, as soon as this highlight plays out, we're gonna go take a pause and see, do a quick look at the statistics and see what's going on. You know, just the heat maps and such, and see what's kind of happening. De La Garza, get your butt back there. Do not make a stupid move under pressure. Okay, they are definitely pressing, uh, which is interesting to see. Ricketts, Janino picks it up. Ooh. Bold move, trying to get it forward. Gerard flubs that one. Come on, get back on your feet. Let's go. Let's get it interception. It's weird to see Wondolowski in that sort of like midfield playmaker role. Oh, come on, get him, get in him. Oof. Skies it wide. Okay, we're gonna do a quick. Let's let's take a let's take a quick look at the analysis here. We're interested in what the Galaxy are doing, or not what the Galaxy, what San Jose is doing. Um, so you can see they're definitely heavily concentrated here, and they're definitely heavily concentrated in the back. Um, they're not, we're not really letting them out of their zone. I'm inclined to, well, let's see here. Can we take a look at their players real quick? Um, so this is passes. Um... So he's so Emekhara is the one who's receiving the most. Grezich is the guy who's doing the most passing. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to target, we're going to close down Grizich here. We're going to close him down um, since he is, let's see if we adjust this. Uh, this is the guy that we need to, we need to disrupt him. He's the one who's, he's, he's making, he's the one spreading the ball around for the most part, so. Let's get in on him and see if we can't disrupt what's going on. Oh, Leonardo's going to get in some trouble here. Ooh, no booking. Okay, well, we've got a dead ball situation, which is never good. I guess it didn't turn into anything. Looks like we're letting them creep a little bit back into the game here. Janino's not exactly having himself a earth -shattering, uh, an earth-shattering affair today. Oop, De La Garza is getting that. Let's go. Let's restart a little bit here. Harry, come on. Get the ball forward. Dos Santos. Okay, let's go, Gio. He's currently the MLS assist leader. Oof, Keen snatching at a chance there. We're getting the ball into the box, but... Mm. Oof, terrible throw from Rogers there. Nice interception back to Gerard. Let's see if we can't turn this into something. Dos Santos gets it out to Janino. Come on, you got Robbie creeping. Crosses. Oof. Cleared away. Dangerous ball in the six-yard box. We were creeping there. Rogers. Oof. They are swarming those throw-ins. But Janino back up to Robbie. To Leggett, who is way in the middle. Dos Santos finds Harry Ship, who gets his pocket picked, but De La Garza recycles the possession back into Dos Santos. Come on, Gio. Net one. There it is. There's one nothing from Giovanni Dos Santos. I wonder if it's possible if he could assist himself. <laughs> okay. This is why we've got Gio on the payroll. Rebound. Just right back to him. And well done, Giovanni. Okay, we're getting into halftime here. We're probably going to... It's a decent... The referees wig me out every once in a while when I see them here. Oof. Ricketts, let it go. Nice job. Okay, let's get into the half here with a one nothing lead. That's a pretty good marker for us right now. We're not exactly quite as free-flowing with the goals as we used to be. Oof, Omega... Our defense is set up reasonably nicely. Eh, come on. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get Perez here. Don't let him get it off. Come on. Oof. Closer than... A little closer than I would have liked. Come on. We're not quite getting that out there. Uh, we may have to make sure that Donovan's playing out of the defense here because uh, I think I have to change. Let's take a look. No, we're supposed to be playing out of the defense. Okay. Uh, give a quick <clears throat> yippee ki -yay there. Harry Ship, you're coming off because you're not exactly having a worldie for yourself. Um, and Alan, you go in. So we're going to make two subs. And then I want to do a quick look here. Okay, so we've managed to push them back back a little bit here so that you can see they're getting a little hotter in the middle of the park here so they're we're pushing them back into their own zone uh, again which is important uh, that's it that's key let's see what's going on from a player piece here okay Wondolowski uh, these are the two guys doing oops these are the two guys doing all the passes um, Wondolowski Eh, the three. These are the three guys doing all the passes. So let's update. Let's let's go after here. Okay, we're gonna go after those guys. Uh, their midfield trio here, and see if we can't push the issue uh, a bit. I know it's going to pull us apart a little bit tactically, but I'd rather <clears throat> I'd rather force them to try something that they're not doing very well, which is play out wide. Um, and for us to 
for us to push the issue a little bit more. We'll do another quick look again at the 70-75 minute marker here just to, just to see if we're being effective. Um, it's nice to see Giovanni back having a good one. Gerard in with the corner. Oop, blast it out. Okay, come on, get there in front of him. Don't do something stupid. Okay, good. Don't get caught out of position there, Donovan. Dos Santos, okay, shoot. I want him playing out of defense. I really would prefer, I have the instruction on, I would really prefer he was playing. Come on, Wondolowski. I would really prefer that he would not go lump the ball super forward like that. Um, all it does is just cough up possession, which isn't exactly doing us any favors. Okay, Gerard in. Leggett picks it up at the top of the box, whacks it into one of their guys for no good reason. Janino rockets it in, and that's a much better game for him. And that would be 2 nothing to the LA Galaxy here in the California Classico. Wow. Okay, Leggett makes a little quick run. Just nice space, nice little space blocking things up from Robbie Keane there to, to uh, uh, Shea Salinas is on again, my nemesis. Okay, we're going to do another quick opposition here. Uh, you know what? Perez, so I don't care about doing anything to him anymore. He is of no value, but Shea Salinas. I'm going to go out on a limb and just say I think Salinas is going to be a pain in my neck because um, he has been in the past uh, often and frequently. He is quite the pain in my ass. Rogers, Dos Santos, finds Janino. Ooh, skies it over the bar with a really nice look. Uh, we're going to sub Gerard out here with Husidic for our last substitution. Okay. Gordon's having himself a better day than Robbie Keane was. Okay, sub made. So now we're rocking and rolling here to the end. Um, Geo in from the corner. Alan Gordon gets it back out to Legette, who gets an elephant level first touch. But De La Garza's back to pick it up. Omar's caught up field a little bit here, but. Okay, Geo's got it. What a god awful shot from distance that was. Possession stand a little more balanced here. I'll give us credit for that. Okay, come on, get in there. Get in there. Get the ball away from that man. Wando up front. Nice block. Finding is we're marking these guys better. We're keep one, we're pushing them back farther, and two, we're getting more blocks and such. Okay, good. DeSantos gets it. Let's see what we can do on the break here. We could give it away. That's always fantastic. Do not let him okay, nice. Good outlet to Alan Gordon. Let's go. We're on the counter now. Jameson all by himself out there. Okay, we'll slow it down a little bit here to kill a little time. He sit back to Bradford Jameson. We got Robbie Rogers, who's lurking out wide there by himself. Legit, ooh, nice shot there. Decent save from the keeper. We're keeping the pressure on, which is what I like. Ooh, Omar gets a head onto it. Okay. Um, one more quick check of what's going on, just to make sure here. Okay, yeah, you can see we're we're starting to push them much deeper into their zone. Um, you know. Even with the ball, without the ball. So we're, we're definitely, the adjustments we've made are working because we're keeping them much more confined to their half, which um, which is what we want. Um, actually, just take a quick look. Yep, these guys are there. They're, we're starting to intercept a few more. Um, this, you know, but you know what? I think what we're going to do, um, tactics overview. Janino, player instructions, edit, mark, 
this guy specifically. Okay, we're going to see if we can get Janino to cover him. Um, just to just to slow him down, just to slow that down a little bit. Um, it's only for the last little bit of the game, but he's the guy who's pulling most of the strings. So if I can shut that faucet off, uh, I'd be happy. Legit. Rogers back to Janino. We'll make them friends for Dos Santos. Gets to Bradford Jameson. Alan Gordon whacks the post there with a nice one. But yeah, I'd like to try and shut off the faucet a little bit here. Um, still a good win. For, uh, I want to keep San Jose in check. I'd rather not get into a situation where we're going to cough up a goal. Uh, that's just no fun for anybody. Clean sheets are fun. Gordon couldn't quite get ahead on it, but Usidic gets in, so we've got him. So, nice job. Janino wasn't quite there, but ooh, Dos Santos with an elephant touch. But Leonardo's there to get it. Jameson, can you turn the Jets on? Bradford Jameson turns the Jets on. Can't quite make the sh get the shot off cleanly, but still a good effort nonetheless. Omar, get in there. Omar, nice job. We got Robbie Usidic back to Janino. Okay, let's see if we can't figure out how to break this, break it down a little bit, and make some space here to Janino. Gets nice long ball into Jameson, crossed into a dangerous spot. I will take the own goal. Putting the ball in dangerous spots creates opportunities like that. So it was a really nice cross into the six-yard box there. Um, just a beautiful shot over the top to Bradford Jameson. And then you can see Gordon is making his way in. But there's four guys, four San Jose Earthquakes players jammed up in the six-yard box. Something bad's bound to happen. Um, so that was well done. So excellent victory. We're back. I think we're back a little bit onto our winning ways here. Um, Really nice win. Uh, so hopefully that was at least a little informative on, on how I'm tackling making match adjustments and looking at things to make sure that, uh, you know, we're playing as well as we can play. Um, we're still up. We got a five-point lead, but only two game two. But we got two games, or Portland's got two games in hand on us, so it's possible we could lose the West here. But the two of us are pulling way out in front of third-place sport in Kansas City, which is great. Um, so just to keep things mixed up a little bit, um, we are, we are going to come back, as we said at the beginning, we'll be back for the uh, CONCACAF Champions League Group H, the first, uh, the first game in the Champions League. So until then, guys, please remember to uh, subscribe, leave the video a like, and if you got any comments or feedback, make sure you leave those. And until next time, talk to you soon. Bye.